Welcome back to the Pumpkin Patch. My name is Rick and today is July 23rd, 2022. I'm going to make another video today showing you about plant number one and plant number three. I'm picking those two plants because they did the best. Anyway, plant both of these plants are about three months old. Plant number one is probably just under three months old. Plant number three, which has the biggest pumpkin on it, is a little over three months old. And both of them did really well. Both of them I really didn't start with a lot of vigor at the beginning because I wasn't sure how much I could dedicate to the pumpkins this year. But I gave them a pretty good start, got them going. And then once I saw I could uh, fit it with my schedule and whatnot, I, I took care of them pretty well. Anyway, let's see what we got. I mentioned all that because they do take a lot of care. And I, I, I end up with some pretty good sized pumpkins and some nice plants. I'm guessing if I would have started a little bit stronger and if I had to taken three vacations, it would have uh, come out a little nicer. But I can't complain with what I have here because they're a lot bigger than my pumpkins from last year. And actually for what I got and the effort I put into it, a lot more effective. This plant is plant number one. And it came out, it came out pretty, uh, it, it came out stellar in my opinion. Let's see if I can even, let me get my pointer. And I can maybe show you a little bit something about it. The whole patch came out cool. And it's still going. I've got some new ones over here that are really still uh, beginning their adventure. So, looking at plant number one, this is the truck back in here. Somewhere back in here is the truck. This other plant, this thing you see here, this is actually the main vine coming from over here, which is now plant number six, which is actually two plants. So I've got the main vine kind of kickers coming off this way, and they're actually getting pumpkins, but the actual main vine coming out the front of the pumpkin, I send it off this way because it has no other place to go. I, I'm trying to use the space I have. So the trunk's back in here, and the main vine came off this way, and I started that pumpkin right there. Actually, the bees might have started that one. Then I hand pollinated this one. And they were both doing coming so strong and so quick, I just kept them both on there. So, this pumpkin and this pumpkin were both on the main vine. They're really only about six feet apart. So the main vine comes out this way. It kept going out here. And somewhere in here, I probably stepped on it or something happened. It got damaged and stopped growing. I think it's right along in here. So the main vine actually stopped, but it had all these secondaries right here that came off. And I was buried all these coming off here. And as you can see, it had a bunch of secondaries. I even just stopped a couple of them because they were coming out in the yard. And they. They came back here and I guess everything was working well enough to where the pumpkins uh, got the nutrients and water they needed because they, they definitely grew. They're just so tall. I mean, they, be, they became round and they kept growing taller. So I'm thinking they're gonna go even bigger. So I, I need to start focusing on this thing and see how much bigger I can get these two. The, it's actually a main vine that comes off the back too. I call it the kicker. It came off this way. Here's there's the trunk. You can see a little better now. There's the trunk right there. It's a big old fat trunk making a bunch of roots down there that obviously are doing something. And this this kicker comes all the way back here. All the way out that way. It's huge. All this is just one plant. 
So it's got a good uh, structure, therefore I end up with some good pumpkins. I usually don't walk this way, but I'm trying to make a video. Okay. So now we're over here at pumpkin plant number three. There's the trunk right there. And as you can see, it's already dying off and it's going through that phase. I mean, it only lives so long. And it ended up the first to get all the powdery mildew right on schedule. I treated it some, actually helped. And then end up, this pumpkin just came out so big and so strong, I left it on here, even though it was, what, maybe eight feet away from the trunk. And then the main vine comes off this way. I had it propped up here a little bit so that you notice I have these little structures propping it up to get it up off the ground so that the stem will be off the ground. Anyway, the main vine went off that way. I turned it around that way some. And there's some secondaries coming off of it. That's what all these are. I buried them. I've been watering them. I've been giving them fertilizer. So this plant right here, three, with pumpkin 3A on it, encompasses all this. There's the trunk. All this area over here, these are kind of secondaries coming off. They stopped growing. I don't know if something went wrong. I don't know if they're helping or not because they they stopped growing. That was either a kicker or a secondary. That was a secondary and it stopped growing. So I don't know if it was, none of them kept like advancing, but I just kept watering them. There's like a kicker coming off the back and then all these out here. So that ended up being a pretty big plant. Doesn't look like much now because the leaves are dying off and kind of starting to wilt but it actually had a pretty good leaf structure. This is the one I obviously built the shelter for to try to give it shade. And it does give it shade for most of the day. I don't know if it helped or not. Once again, I put a little water bottle down there to kind of show the perspective of how big it is. It's bigger than my pumpkins from last year, I know that. That's a big pumpkin. It's way bigger than last year's pumpkin. And it's been about, I'd say in the last week it's slowed down, it hasn't grown much. But I'm gonna keep, keep dumping water out here and give it some more fertilizer to see if I can pump it up a little more. So it was, a, it was a successful year. I'm stoked with it. That's gonna be a big pumpkin. I guess it's gonna end up out in the front yard or something. I don't know what else to do with it. What do you do with a big giant pumpkin? All right, thanks for watching, folks.